Howdy, Possum Patty here, and today is Thrifty Thursday. So come on along and see what bargains I got this week for junk journaling. First up is a Dollar Tree haul, a very small one. But we went in to get some batteries and I thought I'd look around. And I found the Scrabble Tile Letters. Now it says 26 pieces, so I'm assuming there's one of each letter of the alphabet. I haven't opened that to check, but that's my assumption. So I bought two of them, and I may stock up on some more. Because I thought it'd be really nice to put in a cluster or an ATC or just on a page. And of course you need um, several packs, because if you don't get a lot of vowels, you're going to have a lot of consonants left over, right? Okay, glue, because we're doing a lot of journaling. And I bought this scraper because I've seen a lot of people use it. And I thought that would come in handy because I'm always looking for something to smooth out a page. And I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, it's, it's not flexible. It's hard. It's hard. I thought it would be flexible. Hmm. Well, we'll see. I might buy one that's flexible, too, but this might work for some things. We'll see. I'll watch how people use that, and I'm going to save this little window here because you can use that on a shaker card. So I'm going to keep that, put that in the garbage pile there. And I saw these stickers, and you know me, my sunflowers, just how to get this. And I love these, whatever these are. Some kind of allium or something. And then I saw somebody haul these and I'm like, ferns, I have to get that. So I got two packs of the ferns. There's a couple leaves in there too, but this is a fern, this one, this one, this one, this one. Those are ferns, ferns and leaves and sunflowers, my favorite things. Glue, scraper, and tiles. Okay, give me a second. I will put this aside and show you what I got at the library book sale. Well, I went in with the idea that I really don't need any books. Unless I find something special, I'm not gonna get it. But I spent a whopping $8.50. So let me show you what I got for $8.50 in total. The first was this Cat in a Hat beginner book dictionary in English and in en Francais. And I was um, looking at some books with my son. I said, let me know if you find a picture dictionary. He said, okay. And then the lady on the other side of the table said, here. And she tossed this over to me. So I said, oh, thank you. So this is just a picture dictionary. And this is a cat in a hat. So it's got like Dr. Seuss kind of illustrations in it. And I just thought it was cute. The pictures were cute. And sometimes, you know, you just want to put a word or a little picture to go along on your page. And I thought there's some cute illustrations here. Oh, th these are the dogs from that book, Go Dog Go. There goes my clock. It's a morning double clock. So I thought this was cute. And of course, it's in French and English. So that's one thing I got. I don't know what I'll use it, when I'll use it, but I will. And then I saw this one. So that's one book. This is number two, the lettering book. And I saw, I wonder what that's about. And what it is, is stencils. So you've got these stencils here to trace and there's six sets of stencils and some of them have like cherry, strawberry, heart, different things at the bottom. And this one's called Tutti Frutti and they're kind of puffy letters and numbers. And I could either slip a paper under here or I could probably just pull this out of the book. And this one's Soda Fizz. These have these nice curly cues on them. I like this one. Some flowers and leaves and things down here.
This one's called Groovy Baby, and these are some 60s mod style hippie letters here. And this one's called Spooky. Scary, and got a bat, cat, a splat, a bat, cat, and a splat. How's that? It'd be fun for Halloween. Or maybe different things too. This one's called Fossil. They're just kind of straight letters. Like they were carved into a stone. Some dinos down here. And then here at the end, they have some uh, borders. Alien, just a couple of fun things you can trace. And that's that. So I thought that was uh, pretty cool. I don't, I don't think I have any lettering stencils. I have some, uh, one set of stamps, but I don't think I have any stencils. And you know, we've been doing the Stencil With Us collab during the month of April. And now I have some stencils to do letters, but that's okay. Day late and a dollar short, like Mr. Possum says. So that's book number two. Number three, Little Pictures of Japan. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the cover. Beautiful cover. I don't know, I guess, you know, I got so many Asian themed things for my birthday that I'm going to fill my glue book and then maybe I can use the rest, take this book apart and make a journal out of this book. It's a little beat, but that's okay. Kind of vintage. Love this. Let's see what year this is. If it's got a year. Uh, oh, 1950. Hmm. This is one year older than I am. Somebody scribbled in it. Wow. Some scribbling. Not a lot, though. A lot of the pictures are fine. And the pictures are gorgeous, and there's poems. Look at this. The mountain in the sky. Sunset. I mean, you can use these for pages, backgrounds, cut them out, have some ephemera, add some of the words to a page. I mean, these are just gorgeous. Very vintage. Because if I'm old, this is vintage, right? All right, so that is book number three. Number four, The Joy of Scrapbooking. You know, I've never had a book that talks about how to make the pages. I mean, it's scrapbooking, but you can use these as journal page ideas. Like, I never would have thought of this. Look. Ribbon with knots in it. That is so clever. I mean, I'm a bit messier than scrapbooking, but there's some really cute ideas in here. Oh, I just love the way they did the backgrounds here. Look at this with the ribbons and everything. It's like a collage background. I like the way the tags are. So I'll just be looking through here to get some ideas. Look at the kitty, little Lulu. Oh, look at this. I mean, I'll just use what I have and see, you know, I can uh, translate this into junk journaling, I'm sure. So it's a really big book, lots of ideas. Even got little tags in here. I like the way the flowers are there. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so that is book number four. Book number five, Colorama Coloring Book. Now, some of the pages are colored in, but there are plenty, plenty, plenty that are not 
and you, know, you can put this on a page, color it in, do it black and white. Some of them look kind of complicated to color. So there's a lot of uh, mandalas and uh, full pages, which would be a great background on a journal page. Towards the end there, ooh, I saw some koi. Oh, look at the hearts. Roses, swirlies, see the koi fish here with the lotus blossoms. And then towards the front, beautiful butterflies, flowers. There's some scribbling in the front of the book, but most of the whole back is paisleys for your boho. There's some scribbling in them, but that's okay. Look at this gorgeous. More coloring here. Looks like they're using color pencil. So that is number five. Number six is this beautiful picture book about John Muir. And I love stories about John Muir. And this has got some beautiful illustrations that I could use in a journal. Look at these redwood trees, Yosemite. Sailing on a ship. So that's a beautiful picture book about John Muir, America's Naturalist. Book number six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's seven, eight, nine, ten. Little golden books, of course. The Night Before Christmas. I'm thinking December Daily for this year. This one's in pretty good shape. Might keep the story intact. And I picked this up just because I love the story about the little pokey. The pokey little puppy. The pokey little puppy. This one is also in great shape. And then I picked this up because this is a classic. And it is, this one I think was 75, 74. This one's 1974, so this is a, a vintage one. But it's got beautiful illustrations. Look at this, it's just gorgeous. And prayers in it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one, but it was a classic, so I picked it up and I love this illustrator. This is um, Eloise Wilkin. I love her illustrations. And then I got this one because it was baby animals. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one either. But they were so cute. Look at the little baby animals in here. Look at the little rabbit, little raccoon. Is there a baby possum? Yes, there is. Look at the monkeys. This one, I don't know if I'll keep this story intact. Look at the baby possum playing dead. Oh, so cute. Baby skunk. Or I could use it, uh, save it and use it as a nature journal because they're um, mostly wild animals, not like farm animals. I could. Anyway, I got four of those. So that's ten. So I've gone through ten books already. And I got Peterson's First Guide to Wildflowers. And look at this. I plan on cutting this up and putting this in my nature journal when I find these flowers. Goldenrod, Black Eyed Susans, Wild Lettuce. We got a lot of this stuff. Hawkweed. So I like this because the words are on the back. So I can cut out all the pictures and then I'll copy the words and paste the picture down. I've got this. Okay, so I got that one and this one. This is the older guide. 
I had a few of these Golden Nature Guides. But whenever I see these, I like to pick them up. They're a little outdated, but they're good to cut up for journals. This one is Simon & Schuster, New York. My uh, stepmother worked there for many, many, many years. 1950. Another one that's older than I am. But look at this. Classic pictures here. These would make perfect little journaling cards for Nature Journal. I can cut the ones out with the uh, with the words on the bottom on this one. So two flower books. So that's eleven and twelve. Book number thirteen. Look at this. Is absolutely stunning. I love this size. Where's my ruler? Find a ruler somewhere. This is just about four and a quarter by six and a quarter, four and a quarter by six and a quarter, roughly. And it's got all this gold leaf on here, and it's in German. It's got banners. It says something here. I have no idea what it says, but it's got like a village here, and it's embossed, and the pages are all gold gilded. And look at the uh, end papers are gold. And this is from, I don't know when, I don't see a date. It's $15. I have no idea what it's about. I don't speak German. Looking for a day, 1898. 1898, wow. I didn't know it was that old. Wow, this is in good shape for 1898. I should look this up and see what this is. It's a poem. It's written in a poem form. The whole thing, no. Yes, oh my gosh. It's an epic tale of something. Wow, 1898. Look at the pages. Look at that. This is a white frolin. Oh, look at this. Oh, this, this is this is gorgeous. I don't know if I can now. Now that I know what this is, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cut this up. But that's what I bought it for because the pages were in German. They had gold and gild on them. I just thought this cover would make a gorgeous journal. I didn't realize it was that old. Oh well, we shall see. I'll look this up and see what it is. Dries, dries and I can't read this. Linden, dries and linden something. Okay, I'll figure out. If anybody knows what this is, if you speak German, let me know. I did not pay fifteen dollars for it. And last but not least, look what I found. Little gnome books. And these are the same illustrations that were in my big gnome book. Now this is the size of my, my original gnome book. It's very big. And this is the size of the pages in this book. See, here's that picture. Gnomes to the rescue. So what they did is they took some pages from the original gnome book, which I cut all up, and people are aghast because, you know, this book, I guess, is worth a lot of money these days, but I've had it for so long, just sitting around. It was about time to do something with it, get my money's worth out of it by playing with it. And then I found these. Look at that. These are the same illustrations. This one I just put in my journal the other day. Smaller, of course. I love this. I didn't even know they made these. I put this picture in one of my journals, too. 
mushrooms, spiders. I love it. I love it. Look at this. And little gnome facts. That's in one of my journals too. So, that is my haul. What did I get? So, there's five. Ten. And fifteen. Ooh, didn't mean to drop those on the desk. And sixteen. All right, so there is my bargain hunting haul for junk journaling for Thursday, May 5th, 2022. And I just want to thank you for coming along today and happy junk journaling. Bye-bye. <laughs>